What's up, Warsaw? It's the What's Up Warsaw Show. All the upcoming events around the county with the Warsaw Chamber of Commerce. Now, on to the show. Welcome to Bend County Enterprise TV. I'm Mac Vorce with the Warsaw Chamber of Commerce. What's up, Warsaw? Coming out of a huge weekend with Jubilee Days. Uh, it was great to see everybody out and about enjoying our community. Uh, the parade was awesome. Uh, all the pageantry with the royalty inside the community building. Uh, the girls did a great job with the pageants. The karaoke was amazing. The weather on Friday night uh, was absolutely crazy, but it was great to see the yard dogs out playing. Uh, everyone scrambled. Uh, Mother Nature ended up being really good to us because it was really nice that day or that evening. It dropped like 20 degrees. Were you out in the storm, Tyler? I was not. Luckily. I was riding the storm out. Oh, like we man. were out setting up the 5K course. And all of a sudden, it was starting. It was oh, like, geez. oh, my gosh. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Yeah. Uh, so Saturday was fantastic. Like I said, the parade was awesome. Uh, we had a great uh, wreck in a kayak during the parade. That was fantastic. Jim Bradshaw, the Truman Lake Adventure Club. Uh, uh, good spirit right there. That was pretty funny. Um, so great weekend. Thank you so much to the Jubilee Day Committee. They, committee, that was a long word there, um, but they work year-round for this. Uh, they were a little low. So if you want to get involved with your community and you want to make a difference, I highly suggest getting involved with the Jubilee Days Committee. Uh, again, there's lots of layers of the Jubilee Days, uh, and they need help all over the place. So we're a little low on volunteers this year, but everybody still worked hard and pulled it off, uh, and it was a great time. But uh, definitely more hands make it easier. Uh, so please get a hold of me, 438-5922, and we can get you set up uh, with the right people. And uh, they need it from maintenance areas to just driving carts and actually running different sections of Jubilee Day. So get involved. I'm telling you, it's very, very rewarding to get back to your community. Um, we do it all the time. It, it really makes you feel good. This weekend... This weekend is another big weekend. We have the third annual junk market. The junk market is held right down the middle of Main Street. Uh, we have about 25 different booths that are going to be set up. This is junk. This is repurposed furniture, vintage stuff, architecture, salvage. You name it, it will probably be there. Uh, literally from the all the way to the kitchen sink will be there. Um, it will be set up right down the middle of Main Street. But that's not all. We also have the Wet Wild 5K paddle. The paddle will start from uh, Bloodsoe Ferry, uh, East Bloodsoe Ferry boat ramp, goes all the way down to Drake Harbor. It's 2.8 miles. I went out and tried it because I've just never done a water 5K before, and it took me uh, just shy of 35 minutes. And I tried hard. So now we kind of have an idea of what's going on. Um, some people are going to go really fast. Other people are going to just enjoy their day and uh, cruise down the river. So it's, it's a competition in a way, but it's really just to get out and paddle our community and uh, see the Warsaw a little differently. Uh, we do have some really extremely fast boats coming in in the Unlimited class. These are 21-foot carbon fiber boats. Uh, they are going to be zipping down the river. It's like paddling a razor blade. These things are so skinny. Um, but that's not all. We also have, for Meow Mission, uh, we have the garage sale, the dog show, everything happening in the community building. Uh, we got lots of these different cards uh, up at the community building. There's so much on there. I don't want to mess anything up. So come up there or give me a call, 438-5922, and we'll give you all the information. So get out downtown. It is just going to be fabulous. Junk market from 8 to 3, 5K paddle. The race starts at 11. Uh, the garage sale is actually it's a couple of day sale. It's six. Uh, the 18th and the 19th, so Friday and Saturday, 8 to 4. Uh, dog costume contest. You can 
paint your pet? Like, no, not like literally paint your pet. Tyler, Tyler smiled so <laughs> fast. I got to, yeah, yeah. I got to, <laughs> no, you look at your dog and then you paint it on the gotcha. canvas, Tyler. You don't get to paint <laughs> your dog. Yes, yeah. You, God, your eyes just lit up. Like, what is up? <laughs> I get to paint my dog. Uh, but there's food, there's raffles, uh, silent auctions, and like I said, the garage sale. <sighs> We're going to take a quick break, and uh, when we come back, we are going to talk a little bit more about being part of the community and uh, got some people coming in and say, talk about some wonderful things that are going on uh, coming up here in July. But we will be right back after this. J&D Pharmacy Home Medical Supply is a locally owned and operated pharmacy. Our pharmacists and pharmacy technicians will provide you with the personal service you deserve. We are a full-service home medical equipment company and accept Medicare, Medicaid, and most commercial insurance. Stop by our pharmacy drive-up window where we have two convenient lanes located in the rear of the building. We look forward to serving you now and in the future with all of your health needs. j and Pharmacy Home Medical Supply. People helping people. And welcome back to Benton County Enterprise TV. Hey, guess what? I got the Church of the Living Water in the house with me today. And who are you, sir? My name is Isaiah Benedict. And what do you do for the church? Well, I'm associate pastor there, and I also serve as their on-site missionary in Malouge, Haiti. Nice. <laughs> Haiti. And who are you, sir? Uh, my name is Tyler Jordan, and I'm just a brother in Christ at the Church of Living Water. Well, that's a pretty dang good statement right there. So you guys, one, I follow you guys on Facebook. I see you guys on Sundays. I love the... The, where I can be at home and still get my chores done, but still go into church. It's fabulous. So you guys were out there on Wildcat Drive, but have grown and grown and grown. And now you're out on Highway 65 in the old Eastler Lumberyard building. Huge place. Yeah. Um, so so what's, we have some stuff that's coming up, but let's talk a little bit about the church first. Uh, when When... When are the gatherings, that type of stuff? All right, yeah, so our main gatherings on Sunday mornings, we have two services now. Um, one, The first one is our early service at 8.50, and our second service is at 10 o'clock. Okay. And then we also do a program called CR on Thursday nights, and then we have our youth gathering on Wednesday nights, and both of those start at 6 o'clock. Okay, and you guys really do a lot with youth programs, don't you? We do, yes. We love our youth in the community, and we want to get them plugged into the church. And we want to make a difference in our community. Yeah, that's fantastic. So are you one of the ones that have been doing all the embedderment around the building and stuff too uh, then? I've, I've been helping, yes. Yeah. There has been a lot of work done to that building out there, hasn't there? There, There is, has been a lot of work. There still needs to be a lot of work. Yeah. But, yeah, we uh, got it now to where we could do an outside service oh, nice. under a building so that we can do one full service, which is coming up July 4th. We're going to uh, have a little small barbecue competition and, and fellowship and the gospel. Just trying to build the family together and build a bondage. Yeah, and these, these, this day and age, we really need it, guys. We it's really good. do. We need yeah. to come together. We need to come together as a community. Um, and that's why I love having, I love the behind the scenes of my job. This is, I get to meet cats like you and really get involved with what is going on. Um, but there's something else that you got with Bumpy Road Mission, yes. right? You, we have a fundraiser coming up for that. What is Bumpy Road Mission? Yes, Bumpy Road Missions is a ministry that we started last year um, with Church of Living Water. Um, we, me and my family, um, we decided that we felt led to go to Haiti. Um, we decided to serve there as missionaries, and our church just got behind us and supported us. We've been with Living Waters for about five and a half years. Nice. And, um, we came up with the name Bumpy Road Missions. We've been in Haiti last year. We went in March. We took our three children for the first time, and COVID hit, and we had scheduled a two-week trip, and we actually got stuck in Haiti for five weeks. Oh, wow. And we were coming down the mountain. It was a 10-and-a-half-hour drive um, right in the back of a truck. And um, what was like, great? Did you say riding in the back of a truck? In the back of a truck, <laughs> yes. And so we were, we were A different like, kind of Uber over there. Yeah, we were kind of like Elvis Presley. We were all shook up. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I've never got a car sick in my life. Begin projecting out the side of the truck and uh, our interpreter began singing a song while I was doing my thing and in that song the lyric says there's nothing going to steal my joy and uh, it just really clicked with me that nice. moment the name of this ministry is going to be Bumpy Road Missions and so the church got behind us in this ministry and uh, we work with this pastors in, the, in Haiti 
in the rural areas of Haiti. We train and disciple them to go out two by two to spread the gospel. We also work with a ministry called School of Light, which is a pre-K through fourth grade school um, in our village there that was just recently started about the same time as our ministry. And so wow. we see some crazy things going on with the school. We've got pre-K through fourth grade and 120 students wow. um, in a building that's probably about 400 square foot. But these kids walk two hours one way to school just to be there. And uh, it's just an amazing thing that we see. And they get to be there. (laughs) They get to be there. Yeah, they actually get an education, yes. Um, In Haiti, most of the schools there charge a fee for you to go. And if you can't afford to go, you just don't go to school. And so we've actually seen some 13-year-olds in in School of Life that are in fourth grade because they've missed so many years of school. So, um, absolutely. That's that's great. And how do you get involved with this? I just do uh, help Pastor Isaiah get the word out any time that we do an event. And uh, yeah. go around you guys, this things. happened. This this was planned at 9:30 last night. That's how fast <laughs> these guys react. They're like, "Hey, Mac, I'm like, sure, be there in the morning." <laughs> just kind of spread the gospel and uh, help the community realize that you know there is other people in other countries that really do need you need help. Need help. So uh, we have an event coming up um, in July. July 18th. July 18th. We're having a silent auction benefit dinner. There'll be. Uh, I believe uh, half the cow or pulled pork, whichever. But uh, yeah, it's going to be an awesome time to come listen and see what you can do to help out. Very nice. How how can uh, businesses or folks get involved with with the July 18th one? Yes, we're still collecting donations for our silent auction or. Um, if you want to give monetarily, that goes toward us um, being able to purchase the food and stuff we need for the Okay, dinner. which is more important? Um, I would say that which is more important would probably be the donations for the, the silent auction. Okay, okay, yes. good. Well, then we can concentrate and do our role. So, yes, you know, absolutely. But that's what I'm, we want to get the word out. So, if you have a business, if you want to get involved with the community, here's another outlet because these guys get vocal. All your stuff is online too, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be posting online throughout the throughout the next couple of weeks. Okay. Um, we are a 501c3, so if you're looking for tax deduction, that works as well. Fantastic. Yes. Okay. Um, so July 18th. Uh, hey, we have enough time for you guys to come back on, and we'll give them some updates uh, about who's been donating yes. and what, kind of what the what people will see out there and and all that kind of stuff. Um, you guys, this is really great. Uh, like I said, it's really great to be behind the scenes, but it's really great for folks to step up and help out the community. Uh, and I love that you guys help the community here. And if, if you help the community here, it's actually helping somewhere else too. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, that, that covers some mileage right there. <laughs> yes, that's the, and that's the goal. That's the goal is to be able to cover some mileage, be able to help not only our community, but help others throughout the world. And I think the thing of it is it's so easy to be blinded And we get so used to living in our community, doing our routines, that we forget about people that are outside of our little circle of life. Yep. A rut is just a grave with the ends kicked out, you guys. So get out of your rut. Get out and try new things. Get involved. I'm telling you, volunteerism, it it is, it it really helps your heart and it helps your brain, I promise you. How can people get involved? How do they get a hold of you guys? Yes, the best way to get a hold of us, you can reach me. My name is Isaiah Benedict. You can reach me on my phone number at 417 309-1058. Three zero nine one zero five eight. You can also connect with us on our Facebook page, Bumpy Roads Missions. Um, I'll let Tyler give his information if he would like to. Uh, my name is Tyler Jordan. Uh, my number is six six zero six two three or seven two three three nine six zero. All right, Mom, can you t- type that up one for me? Thanks. <laughs> Mom watches a lot, so <laughs> she's always helping me. Um, all right. Well, lots going on. Uh, like I said, we're going to keep you updated on the July 18th fundraiser forum too. Uh, Church of the Living Water out on Highway 65. Get out this weekend. Enjoy the time. Downtown is going to be hop in. Lots going on. I saw the garage sale stuff in the community building. They're already setting up for uh, Friday's uh, big deal. So lots going on. Um, weather's going to be hot too huh yes. yeah so drink lots of water get out enjoy thanks guys for coming by we'll see you next week this has been a bce tv production thank you for watching